Today we're gonna talk about D15 engines. What a surprise you will say, right? I talk about D15 engines all day long because this is what I do. This is what I specialize on. But uh, the topic of today will be tuna, ball adjustment. So what is that uh, and why you need to do it? Uh, well, ball adjustment is basically uh, the tolerance from factory on how the ball frame works. And why you need to do it? Well, I mean, wear and tear, right? Engine wears over the time, uh, and when this happens, all the stuff gets tighter, all the mechanical components get tighter. So, to set the tolerance back, you need to do the ball adjustment. So that's the reason why you have to do it, and that is what you have to do. This is what, and this is why. Anyway, um, what happens if you don't do the ball adjustment? Well, I had a couple videos, and I already did a video not too long ago about that, like problems with the cylinder head. Cylinder head goes bad. This right here is a 2018 Cascadia DD15 engine, and um, it has around 800,000 miles on it. And you want to hear what it does. So if I crank it, that's all it does. See? One more time. Okay. Very weak. So if that is the case, if you're getting that problem, especially in the mornings, if your truck is getting that problem, it's most likely then you need a ball adjustment. And if the ball adjustment doesn't fix this problem, it's most likely then you have a bad cylinder head and you will need to do a major job to the engine. So stay tuned for that. When this happens, of course, the cylinder head behaves bad, but it is not just because the ball adjustment is the cause of that. It is just because the, ball, the cylinder head is defective. But uh, uh, the reason why doing the ball adjustment helps uh, your engine um, is um, because it helps to improve many things in the internal combustion you know, chamber. Um, it helps to improve fuel economy. It helps to improve uh, uh, performance of the engine, and it helps to improve how the engine works, the sound, and everything. So uh, uh, all these three factors are important when you are holding a lot, when you are, uh, you know, on an extreme temperature area, or you know, like a cold or hot, or you simply are, you know, sleeping on the bunk because you're tired. So the engine has to have good performance, the engine has to sound good, and the engine has to, have, it has to have good fuel economy. And the ball adjustment is one of the major factors if then this is, uh, then helps to uh, 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 make this happen. So uh, just to be clear, if you have an engine then you already did three, four, five times the ball adjustment and the engine is sounding and it's not performing well and everything, just replace it using the head. I said in the, in the last video and I said again, uh, multiple uh, ball uh, uh, adjustments or tune-ups are not good for your engine because if they continue on going bad, your engine is bad. So uh, just do the cylinder head and that will be solution of the problem. Don't just try to adjust the bow, you need to replace the component. Uh, well, when you need to do this? That's a good question and a lot of people have many, many uh, answers for this and I think, uh, yeah, I mean, all, all answers are valid, but it depends on what you want, depending on how you want to do it. Um, manufacturers, some manufacturers say 200,000, some of them 300,000, some of them 400,000, some mechanics say 500,000, some mechanics 600,000, some 700,000. So, I mean, like, uh, there is no specific number for a uh, ball adjustment or for a tune-up. I would say then if you want to do a ball adjustment or a tune-up to your engine, you can do it from 200,000 and up. Doesn't matter when, you can do it at any moment at that time so and if you are presenting problems then your engine is hissing or something you hear the sound as you could hear before um, 
yeah i mean like uh, you have to do the bad adjustment to fix these issues but if you have no problems like that you have no performance problems no fuel economy problems and nothing then makes the engine sound weird uh it will be optional if you want to do it sometimes sometimes i will say just in some occasions engines are working perfectly with no problems at all and you do a tune-up and the engine doesn't work well anymore why this happens why uh things like this happen well i mean like uh, as i say wear and tear so you are moving the travel of the component so if the component has a specific travel and the wear of this travel of this component is uh specifically on the point that it's working fine but if you move the tolerance and this component is going to move to a different position that is going to create a problem uh, it was already broken we can say and now then you move the uh, adjustment of the valve broke completely so uh, but it was okay before because it was breaking a liter by liter but when you did the valve adjustment like happened immediately so it happens like that so I would say then uh, uh, that those things happen. So uh, sometimes that's the reason why people don't want to do bad adjustments to the trucks or tune-ups because uh, uh, they had the experience before then they did the tune-up before and the engine broke after that or it started having issues and it wasn't like that, you know, and, and it, it turned into a very expensive repair. Uh, and they and they blame the mechanics for that, but you know, so some, some many cases like that mechanics have nothing to do with it. But so sad to know that the mechanic did the job. I mean, like that's that's the sad part. The mechanic just did the job and the engine broke. <sighs> so that happens like that, right? Um, anyway, um, we'll say then uh, uh, if you don't want to do a valve adjustment, you're okay. If you want to do the valve adjustment, you're okay as well. As long as your engine is performing well. Who cares, right? You are fine. Uh, if your engine is not performing well, you're fine. If you want to do it, but if uh, you're fine, if you don't want to do it, because if uh, at the end of the day you have to spend money on that, so it depends on the on who you are or who uh, or who you're taking the truck to. So because that also that's another factor, then that's the reason why you don't want to do the valve adjustment because you don't trust your mechanic. Um, so. That's that's a big 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 factor, but anyway, uh, I'll, I'm telling you this because uh, there's a big controversy on mechanics and owner operators and drivers and dealers and technicians and everybody is telling you, oh, you need to do about adjustment this and you need to do about adjustment then blah, blah blah blah, and if you don't do it, your engine's gonna go bad. Blah, blah, blah. So I mean, it is. I have seen engines no ball adjustment, one million miles, and I have seen engines with ball adjustment at three hundred thousand miles, and they're working fine, one million miles fine. So it varies, and I have seen engines with no zero ball adjustment, and they go by five hundred thousand miles, right? So it varies. There is no specific number for that, and there is no specific way this go. This is gonna work uh, well. But uh, it's very common to see engines that are from 2014 and up, then the valve adjustment is needed, but commonly because of the wear of the components. It seems like those components of these newer engines are lighter and they don't resist that much pressure. And that's the reason why they need adjustment so frequently. Um, but uh, older, older engines didn't need that much you know, like adjustments here and there because they have a stronger the valve trains, valve components, like um, they were probably in better quality than it is now. Um, but maybe it makes sense because manufacturers are trying to lower the cost of the material and that means lower the weight of the material. So probably makes sense. Uh, but um, in, in resume to all this nonsense video that I'm doing right now, I would say then, um, if you want to do a bad adjustment anytime, you can do it anytime. You don't have to follow protocols on what is the right moment to do it. Um, and also, uh, if you don't want to do it ever, I mean, it's your truck, so nobody 
I, I, I don't have to tell you what you have to do on your truck. So I just can recommend you, hey, it will be better if you do it. But also I can recommend to, I can tell you in this case then, hey, I mean, I, I am not responsible for any consequences that happen after you do it, right? So uh, it is, you know, uh, left and right. So that's the reason why you as the customer gotta be 100% cautious Then I wanna do it and easy on your mind. I don't have to push you as mechanics, as technicians or anybody to tell you when you have to do it because it is your truck, your machine, and you depend on that. Um, but this is all uh, just small talk about this. And uh, anything else to add to this video, just comment below. I don't know if you guys want to say something about this topic, but I just meant tune-ups and anything that is ball train and uh, lash adjustment and uh, rocker arms. You can say anything below. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to uh, uh, say your experience. I don't know if you guys want to talk about what you do. Everything is welcome because, you know, hey, information is the key to the success. So. Just bring all the information. That's the reason why we're doing these videos like this. Um, share, the, share the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, Francisco Maya YouTube, come to the shop. Uh, I have the description on the, I mean, on the description of the video, I have the details on how to come to the shop. And thank you for watching.